than the animal. Why is that? You find since the animals have morality, they have intellect, what's the difference? You find that our sense of morality is complete due to who? Due to Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. When Rasulullah says, what is he telling you? He's saying that the only way to attain a complete, perfect sense of morality is to come through the door, through the route of Al Muhammad. Subhanallah. Unfortunately, you have nowadays many people who do not acknowledge the facts and the importance of Ahl Bayt. As in, how are you and I supposed to understand who Allah is if it was not for characters that Allah has sent that manifest the glory of Allah on this earth? As in, when you want to understand the concept of generosity in Islam, you look to Imam Hassan. When you want to understand the patience of Allah as sabur you look to Imam Al-Kadhim When you want to understand the mercy, the rahmah of Allah, you look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالْمِينَ You have not been sent except as a mercy. Brothers and sisters, if you and I want to know who Allah is, if you and I rather want to fear Allah, we want to respect Allah, you can never attain the satisfaction, you can never understand, un attain this understanding of Allah if you do not know who He is. You and I, we go on the prayer mat and we pray. You find in most of the cases, I speak for myself first. You find that we go on the prayer mat, we think about everything except salah. Yet it's supposed to be the exact opposite. Think about salah and nothing else. Subhanallah. Why is it that we're not thinking about salah once we're on the prayer mat? Because we do not know who we're standing in front of. When we say, I am standing in front of the one that has created the sky and the earth. For that reason, you see that Ahl Bayt, I believe Imam Zain al-Abideen, that when he does the wudu, you find that he is shivering, he's trembling from fear, his face would turn pale. His face would turn pale, they would come to him and tell him, Ya ibn Rasulullah, we have never seen you this scared, we have never seen you this fearful, what's going on? He told him, do you know in front of whose hands I will be standing in a few minutes? He told him, do you know who in front of I will be standing within moments? I'm standing in front of the one that has created the sky and the earth. In salati wa nusiki wa mahayaya wa mati lillahi rabbil alameen. In salati, my prayer. In salati wa nusuki and my deeds and my actions wa mahayaya, my life and my death are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot be standing on this prayer mat and ignore the fact that we are standing in front of the one that has created the sky and the earth. You cannot fear one who you do not know. We read in our ziyarah, Bikum urif Allah. By you Allah has been known. SubhanAllah. This is the importance of Ahl Bayt, brothers and sisters. This is the importance of Al Muhammad sallallahu alayhi So we find that our sense of morality is complete. You find also our intellect is complete. You may tell me that an animal has intellect. But you find that our intellectual capacity is complete. Allah has allowed us, brothers and sisters, Allah has allowed us to reach the highest levels of potential. Allah has given us the best of intellects. We need to sit down and speak to ourselves and say, why is it that Allah has given us all of these blessings? Why is it that Allah has given us all of these bounties? As in examine Adam, Nabiullah Adam, to the last of the Prophets, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What do you find? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. You find that human beings from day one until now have advanced. They have progressed due to this intellectual capacity that Allah has given you an eye. Yet examine the animal from day one, from the day of Adam until now. Since day one, the bird has been flying. Today, the bird is still flying. Nothing has changed. He has not decreased or increased in his abilities. You find that since day one until today, the fish has been in the water. Has it changed? Do you see any fishes walking on the sidewalk? I don't. 
Do you see that? No. Why? Because Allah has not given them this intellectual capacity that allows them to progress in life. So we find brothers and sisters that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us all these bounties. Now if I ask you, if I ask any of you a rhetorical question, think to yourself, Allah has given you the best of intellects. I want your undivided intention please inshallah so we can benefit. Allah has given us the best of brains. Allah has given us the ability to be the smartest of creations. I want to ask you, why do you think Allah has given you all of these blessings? Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا لَاعِبِينَ Allah says, we have not created the sky and the earth in vain for no reason. Unfortunately, many people think that we live in this life without a purpose. I tell you that Allah has given us all of these blessings. Allah has given us the best of abilities because we have a purpose in life. Understand this notion, brothers and sisters. You and I have a mission on this planet. Otherwise, why did Allah send us to the most perfect of planets? Why did Allah send us to the most perfect of environments? Why did He bless us with the most perfect of intellect? There must be a reason for this. You find that Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا إِلَّا what? إِلَّا لِيَعْبِدُونَ SubhanAllah. I have not created mankind or jinn except for one reason. What is this reason? To worship me. Now do not have this misconception that you should stay in your room all day, 24-7, and worship Allah up and down, isolating yourself from society. No. This is not what Islam is about. You find that one day, I believe they came to Imam al-Baqir They told him, Oh Imam, we are here to inform you of a man who has reached such high levels. He told him, Alhamdulillah, very good, excellent. What, have you, what has he done? They told him, Imam, this brother stays in his room all day and prays to Allah. All day. They told him, Imam, isn't this, isn't this so amazing? Isn't this excellent? He told him, Islam has not come for these kind of people. Imam says, Islam has not come for these kinds of people. Which people? Those who stay in their rooms all day praying to Allah 24-7. They told him, Imam, what do you mean? Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind or jinn except to worship me. Isn't he, isn't he trying to accomplish the mission that Allah has ascribed to us? He says, Islam has not come to these kinds of people. What is Imam trying to tell you and I? He's trying to tell us that Islam is a religion that tells you to play a proactive role in society. Not to isolate yourselves. Even salah is a means. You find that we pray to Allah, we improve our relationship with Allah so that we can do better in this world. Even that is a means. You cannot focus on the means and forget the ends. Allah told us, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Worship Allah until you attain certainty. So if you pray and forget the concept of certainty and forget that your mission is to go and propagate Islam to society, then what have you done? You have not accomplished the mission that Allah has given you I. So we find, brothers and sisters, that if we understand our purpose as human beings, then we can reach the highest levels of potential. Subhanallah, Imam Amir al-Mu'minin, salamullahi alayhi, we found that his birth is coming very soon. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib has this profound narration. He says that Allah has enabled mankind to have four powers. Understand this notion. He says that he has given them the power of intellect, al-aql, al quwwat al-aqliya. He says that he has given them the power of anger, al quwwat al ghabiya He says also that he has given them the power of desire. As human beings we have desire. He says, al quwwat al shahawiya And he says the last power that Allah has given mankind is al quwwat al wahmiya the power of imagination. What does Imam Mir al-Mu'minin say? He says that if the power of intellect overpowers all the other three, all the other three powers, you have the ability to be better than the angels. Not only that, but if your anger and if your desire overpowers all the other three powers that Allah has given you an eye, you'll be what? You'll be worse than the animal. Subhanallah. It's the same body, same brain, 
same blood that flows within our, within our veins, but you find that we have the ability, one can be better than the angel, one can be lower than the animal. We have the ability to be the worst of the worst. They are like animals, even worse than animals. And for that reason we see that Adam had two sons, Habil and 